just live for tomorrow Or just live for yesterday Just be glad for all you have that's in today Hey everyone, Connie here, and welcome to my blind reaction to um, DuckTales 2017, episode uh, 20. <sighs> so, let me explain. We're only doing one episode, but we were going to do more. I was actually planning on doing two um, this week, uh, but in all honesty, I uh, procrastinated. You see, I, I was doing some other stuff, and uh, I, I just got more into that. Um, <laughs> watching stuff, recording other things, and before I knew it, it was just so freaking late already. Now, I think my father has uh, plasma tonight, and my brother's not going to be home for a while, so I should be good to record at least one episode, but yeah, it's just... Time basically got away from me thanks to procrastination. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're we're gonna get to one episode today, and uh, go from there. Um, maybe we'll be able to finish next week. Uh, we'll see. Um, since next Tuesday we will still be recording stuff. Um, so, yeah. I know nothing about what's to come. I, I don't know if this is going to be as story-focused as the last episode was. Uh, probably not. But, oh my. But, I mean, you, you can always hope. But I think we're going to get a couple more episodes of just episodic stuff before the end. Uh, because it wants to build up to it a little more and wants to, uh, wants to give us a little more just random stuff, you know? Uh, but I guess we'll find out. Uh, sorry if I seem kind of out of it as well. Um, I am a little tired. Um, plus I'm just trying to, like, get to this and everything. <laughs> uh, and make sure I can get to it all before anyone comes home. So I'm a little tired. I'm a little stressed because of that, but I'll be fine. It'll be fine. So when the screen fades to black, pause this redirect and go to the description below. Follow the link to the reaction, and after you watch it, come back into the redirect and resume play. Because after it fades to black and then fades back in, everything from that point forward... Oh, oh excuse me. Uh, everything from that point forward will be my afterthoughts and will contain spoilers to the episode. So that being said, thank you so much for tuning in. And I'll see you when the react. I'll see you at the reaction. I don't know where I was going with that. I will see you at the reaction. Okay, and we are back, and we'll begin with spoilers in three, two, one, now. Holy shit! Um. <laughs> so, I I I I was trying. I, I found the voice of uh, Peg Leg Meg, the pirate girl, the cute pirate girl, no. And um, it was Kimberly D. Brooks, and I, I was looking who, up who that was, because I didn't recognize, recognize the name offhand, and holy shit. So, she's, she's Jasper in Steven Universe, as well as Malachite Carnelian and Skinny Jasper. And... Even just as notable, she's Princess Alora in Voltron Legendary Defender. And she's had a lot of other roles as well. Um, a lot of video game roles, it looks like. Um, I'm trying to see if there's anything specifically I know. I guess she's the voice of female Brotherhood of Steel members in Fallout 4. Um... She's Oracle in Arkham Asylum? Holy shit. Well, and Arkham City. She's Firestar and Psylocke in Ultimate Alliance 2? Like, just Batgirl in Injustice Gods Among Us? Yeah, and, and she's 
She's in Scooby Doo and the Witch's Ghost and The Legend of the Vampire. She's in Superman Doomsday and Justice League War. She's in all of these different shows and movies and stuff. But yeah, the big ones are definitely um, her being in Voltron Legendary Defender and Steven Universe. I mean, she, like I said, she's Jasper in Steven Universe. That That's a, kind of a big character. And of course, Princess Alora is one of the main characters in Voltron. So, wow. And she was just a... Uh, she was just a few female pirates in this one that's that's uh, awesome though I, I would have never guessed because of course she was doing the pirate accent and everything um that's amazing um this episode was great though as well this episode was just a lot of fun like the singing sky pirates idea was just really hilarious and like well executed I, I like the idea that the pirate captain put on the disguise and it's like they were seeing through it, especially Scrooge. It's like, we all know that's Don, that's Don Carnash, right? <laughs> like, I, I love that kind of joke when it's done well. Uh, and I've seen it done in many other uh, shows and movies and whatnot. Um, I, I liked the entire concept of how the big kind of moral to the story is that you should listen to your family and loved ones and stuff. Uh, otherwise, they could uh, go off and uh, take over a Sky Pirate crew. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, uh, there was that little lesson thrown in about listening to your loved ones. And it's a great lesson. Um, admittedly, it was a little overshadowed by the more fun and frivolity of the episode. Uh, with the songs, the characters. Seriously. Like, when I was saying like how I, I just like love peg leg megan all and she's adorable and everything and i, I i'm i'm being completely serious it's like there are characters who you can't help but just fall in love with from very little like we don't have a lot of character info on her we don't have this a lot of great depth for her character for her but she's just one of those characters i can't help but fall in love with just from that little bit we saw of her. She's adorable. She has an amazingly uh, great design. She's funny. And I, I just, I don't know. I just can't get enough of her. <laughs> I want more. I want fan art. I hope there's fan art. Probably not. Uh, but, I mean, you can you can dream, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I enjoyed this. I, and I think that... The th they tried to make it work with the moral, um, especially with having it so that they didn't even notice, notice that Dewey was gone. Uh, and it could have worked, but I feel like they just, again, they if they made the pirates more like legitimately just generally menacing and less fun and likable, maybe it would have worked better. But when you make the pirates, uh, your antagonist characters, that likable and everything, it... It takes your attention away from the main characters to a degree. And a lot of shows have had this problem. A lot of shows have had the problem where they make side characters so insanely likable that you almost forget about the main characters and their struggles or what they're going through. Admittedly, one, of, one big example of this was the Human Zoo episode of uh, Steven Universe. The, the Zoomans were so insanely likable and adorable and, and you just instantly fell in love with them. And, and it's like, I, I have, I, I've gotten so much fan art of J10, for example, because she's adorable and I love her. But at the same time, it kind of a little bit took away from the struggle that Steve and Greg were going through at that time. Or Steven and Greg. Why did I just call him Steve? Steve Universe, everyone. No, but it, it it took a little bit away from that. It was not completely and not to the same level as this episode did. And I'm not saying that this episode's bad because of that. I'm just saying that it is notable. Um, but other shows and movies and whatnot have done this as well. And I just wish that they made the pirates a little more menacing. 
But at the same time, I can't complain because Peg like Meg is adorable, and I love her. Uh, I I'm a sucker for that kind of thing. I'm sorry, but I'm a sucker for uh, cute characters. Th they always get to me. Um, but yeah, this, w this episode didn't have any relevance to anything. It wasn't anything like super relevant to the story or whatnot. It was just another episodic episode, which I kind of expected it to be at this point. Um, they're building, <coughs> oh, excuse me, they're building to the finale right now, and they want to have a couple little more fun and frivolous episodes prior to that. So, I, I definitely think that these, the final episodes of this season are going to be big. Um, not just in a way to where they're big in terms of plot, but they're big in terms of scale. Like, these are episodes that the, the crew really want to tell, I feel. Like, this episode alone, it's like, why would you wa not want to make an episode about Sky Pirates? And s throwing singing in there, it's like, yeah, that sounds fun. Like, why would you not want to do that? Of course the, the crew wanted to make this episode. It, it, and, and the voice actors probably had a blast doing it. Um, but yeah, it's like, I, I really enjoyed it. And, and even though I do think it could have been a little better... I mean, I can't rightfully complain. I mean, it's kind of like what I say regarding a lot of people out there today. You can't simultaneously demand something and then complain about what you get. You can't demand a product or a service and then complain about that product and service and how it comes. Unless it's like, I mean, obviously, it's notably messed up. Like, if you if you go to, like, a fast food restaurant, uh, if, if your order is messed up, yeah, you can, uh, you can, like, go up to them and say something. But you know what I'm saying. Like, you can't, like, demand to have fast food, to be able to go to fast food places and get that quick, easy meal, but complain about, like, the, the people choosing to work there. Uh, instead of getting a higher education and better jobs. Because if you want to get that, uh, I don't know, $5 fill-up box from KFC, I don't know why that came to mind, but if you want to get that kind of stuff, then there are going to have to be those people working at those places. As some of them are going to be younger kids and stuff who are getting their first job, sure, but some are going to be adults who can't get anything else in this shitty economy. And it's kind of the, that kind of thing is what I'm talking about here, though. You can't, like, I, I can't demand that this episode be better when I'm enjoying what I got nonetheless. I, I can't, like, I, I can't both love the episode as it is a, and complain too much about wishing it were better. I mean, I can, I can say that there could be some improvements. But I can't complain too much. That's all I'm saying. That I, I, I kind of just have to let it go and enjoy it for what it is. And I do. Um, and in a lot of cases, in most cases, that's what I do. Um, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of shows and episodes and whatnot and movies that admittedly have issues. But I still love them. The Legend of Korra is my favorite show. And yeah, it does have some issues. Especially in the early uh, half of the first half of the second season. It definitely has some issues. And I, I acknowledge them, but they don't hurt my overall thoughts on the series. They don't stop me from loving the show. That's all I'm saying, you know. I don't know if any of that gets across properly or if I'm just kind of mumbling random shit. But I hope you at least understand where I'm trying to go with that. Um... So next week, maybe we'll do some more episodes. Maybe we'll even finish up DuckTales, for all we know. I cannot say for sure, but there's always a possibility. Um, or at least finish up season one, that is. Um, in the meantime, though, uh, tomorrow, Wednesday, we will be getting to Steins Gate. Um, hopefully, I won't procrastinate as much as I did today. Um, and next week... Um, yeah, next week, just as a reminder, from Thursday to Sunday, 
uh, there will be no reactions uh, put up because I'll be at Yomacon. And I just won't be able to record anything, and I probably won't be able to pre-record either. So just letting you know that ahead of time as well. Um, if you have any questions regarding that or anything else, or just want to comment on this episode and stuff, leave all of that in the comments below. And if you have anything else to say, please leave that as well. And thank you so much for tuning in. For now, I'm Connie, and I'm signing off. Yeah. <laughs> See you all next time. Tears along the way You're still standing Live, love, laugh